Hello, good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, AWD Java checkbox uh, with the event handling. Uh, checkbox uh, having a item state changed event. So uh, I will demonstrate a simple example of checkbox. So create a constructor of that class that is simple uh, time. Okay, uh, simple time is a class name. So constructor is the also the simple time. In the class, uh, create a uh, instance of the class like the frame panel label. Uh, actually, frame uh, class is a container of the controls, so must to use to put the checkbox in it. So, first of all, design a frame, then add a panel in the frame, and add checkbox in the panel also display output on the label when we click uh, or you can say when we check or uncheck the checkboxes so remove the namespace uh, remove the package names import for the java dot package dot uh, java dot awt dot panels frames labels and the uh, checkbox <coughs> okay now create a object of that uh, their classes so here we have three checkboxes apple check mango check and the grape check okay in the constructor design a frame f1 equals to new frame and the name of the frame a checkbox example okay that's fine now f1 dot set oops getting error oh uh, the curly bracket is missing so use it here for the blocks for the constructor <coughs> sorry <coughs> set the size of the frame that by using the set size method uh, in which we can pass the width and the height of the frame that is 500 and 500 okay now after set the size of the frame set the visibility of the frame that or you can say set the layout of the frame by using the layout managers uh, new grid layout pass the rows and the column in the grid layout is one by one I mean to say one rows and one column okay remove the package names add import java.awt.grid layouts okay that's fine use f1.set visible method for showing frame in AWT actually uh, this is the simple code to uh, show a simple frame in applet window sorry uh, AWT window set visible is true okay that code is used to show frames in AWT now Create a object for the panel. P1 equals to new panel. The default layout of the panel is flow layout. There is no need to set the layout of the panel. Okay. But if you want to uh, set the layout, then you can do. Okay. By using set layout method, new flow layout. Uh, if you want to. Uh, if you want to uh, know information about uh, the layout managers then check my previous video tutorials uh, of the channels you can you can see that my tutorials <coughs> okay so here we have a panel control with the layout is flow layout and the label is new label oops ok 
okay actually uh, i want to set the text on the uh, on the label uh, after that when we click on the uh, or you can say when we check or uncheck the check boxes but set the alignment of the uh, text on the label set alignment label dot center also set the size of the label l1 dot set size method i mean to set the set the width and the height of the label set size integer width and integer height 350 pixel is the uh, width and uh, 100 pixel is height okay now this is the code for the label now add a checkbox control apple check equals to okay so simple uh, uh, apple check equals to new checkbox this is the simple code for the ch uh, checkbox here you can give the name to the checkbox that is apple check okay so apple uh, is the name of the checkbox similarly for the mango and the grapes and copy that code for three times for the check for three checkboxes so mango is the second checkbox and third one is uh, grapes okay now use it here mango and for the grapes checkbox okay that's fine now this is the code for the checkboxes you can uh, put some checkbox it here okay when we click on the apple checkbox then use that event handling apple checkbox add item listener um, for the button event we have a action listener and uh, we have for the container like the checkbox and the radio button we have a item listener interface so new item listener actually that interface call that method uh, item state changed okay by using uh, one single method item state change we can get the status of the checkboxes so public void item state changed in which we can pass the item event e okay that's fine now set the label uh, now the set the text on the label l1 dot set text apple checkbox checked or unchecked by using the method by using the simple method e dot get state change okay is double equals to one checked column unchecked Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Sorry. Oops, getting an error actually uh, for the import for the Java dot awt dot item events. Okay, that's problem is solved. Oops, getting error. Cannot find the symbol. Our right annotations. Oops, for the issues, the lambda expression is not control undo. Okay, uh, please uh, not do the lambda expression. Oops, the event is uh, get state changed, it's not only not the get state changed. Okay. <coughs> 
so the problem is solved error is removed now save this and done that First of all, add that uh, panel in the frame. So um, p1 dot add what in the panel what we have to add uh, like the apple check, mango check, and grab check. Apple check. Add that control in the panel first, and after that panel add into the fr uh, frame. So copy that and paste it here for the four times apple, mango, and grapes. Add and labeled also. Grabs. Okay. P one dot add the label L one. Now. Add that panel into the frame. So F1 dot add P1 that is panel. Okay. Now this is the simple tutorial. I'll save this and run it. Yeah, build successful. But frame is not shown on your screen. How? check that error why why not raw frame is not running correctly yeah everything is uh, right <coughs> What happened actually? Uh, it's not getting an error. Oh, actually, uh, I think a man method does not have an uh, class object. I think uh, this is the problem for that. Okay. Mm, copy that and add in the last section of your. Oops, this is the not last last section. This is the out of the constructor. So inside in it side it here yeah simple time is a constructor name so make a object in the man method simple time s1 equals to new simple time yeah this is the error it's it's not actually an error it's mm, frame is not visible correctly Okay. Item listener. Save this and run this file. Yeah, frame is correct. Running. Apple. When we check an apple, yeah, apple text box is display but not correctly. Uh, here is we have a KB is uh, only the KB text is display. The KB is checkbox checked. Okay. Uh, set the width of the label in the sizes. Actually, this is not matter. Uh, this is uh, that code is run for the apple checkbox similarly for the mango checkbox 
okay uh, the same code for do this for the mango checkbox uh, only change in the here and mango check dot add item listener okay now save this and run it again okay set the size uh, set the width of the uh, label control is 600 to show correctly in the next line run file apple oops not getting oops, yeah actually result is display but uh, on the label that not display correctly okay so okay now set the grid layout is 2 by 1 uh, 2 by 1 means uh, 2 rows and uh, 1 column here yeah. uh, 2 by 1 2 rows and uh, 1 column and the label is add in the last section of the frame okay in the first section add a panel control and the last section or you can say that in the last row or you can say second row add a label okay so three check boxes add in the panel correctly and the last row add a panel in the frame directly okay so here f1 dot add label control okay run this file when we click on the apple control yeah apple checkbox checked this is the second row of the grid layout apple checkbox unchecked mango checkbox checked okay that's fine thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial so just keep watching my all other video tutorial which is related to java thank you thank you very much again please subscribe my channel